What is up, everybody? Spidey here, and as always, I hope you're having a marvelous day. Welcome to another live with my friend Drew Gen Collects from Loot Box TV. How's it going, dude? I'm good. I'm good. We have uh, a couple of things happening tonight. Number one, we got hobby versus hobby boxes versus blasters. And for those who are maybe not familiar with the lingo, you can get a blaster box from Upper Deck. You know, kind of like if if you're older, like we are, like when you were a kid, you'd go through Walmart, you go through, well, we didn't have Targets back then, <laughs> but uh, you would get, you'd be able to get a, a retail pack, right? Yep. And uh, these, these are cheaper boxes. They're roughly 20 bucks and they've got five cards per pack, four packs per box. Uh, but we'll get more into about that later. And then you have what's called your hobby boxes, which is more of your collector boxes. What does that mean? That means they're more expensive and they're supposed to have bigger chase cards. More and then like a cards. and a guarantee In, uh, yep. assortment cards. of cards. Ten cards per pack, ten packs per box. Those boxes are running roughly around two hundred bucks, depending on when you watch this. It may be different. Uh, where these are twenty bucks. But here's what's interesting. We've been watching people pull hits that you really wish were in your hobby boxes in the blaster boxes. Okay? <laughs> now, in fairness, before any of you run out trying to raid your Walmarts and Targets, number one, know that the boxes are, are they're, they're not all there. <laughs> they can be difficult to, to find. Yeah, difficult to find in the wild. But here, here's the other part. Um, people tend to show what they're proud of right? Like what they're happy about. So we're only seeing the boxes that hit. We're not getting a lot of the, hey, here's what didn't hit, you know, kind of thing. Right, right, right. So tonight, for fun, I've got two of these blaster boxes. You have how many? I have, uh, well, I had, I have four now. I had eight and I opened four. Okay. Well, we can run through those. Four sealed, yep. And then uh, two hobby boxes also. Well, in fairness, I had five and I let a friend open the other three with his son. And Aha. so I can tell you that those three boxes uh, did not hit anything massive by any stretch of the imagination, but they had Same good fun. Yes. He pulled, he pulled a Miles Morales card and he was very happy. And Ooh, so, nice. but then you have two hobby boxes. So we're going to go through those. We're going to do a little blaster versus hobby tonight. So that's one winner, thing. It's like a blaster versus hobby winner take all, right? Winner take all. I like it. I love the winner take all. Lewis, love you, man. Hop in if you can. TJ's here. What's up? Hey, Jason. Dude. Run it yeah. back. Really Soul. appreciate it. I was telling uh, Jen that I've been a part of opening something like six cases in some variety up to this yep. point. What's up, Diddy? Yep. What's up, Jip? Uh, Ghost is here. And out of those six cases, not one, one of one golden treasures has been pulled. Not one mm. of one uh, auto has been pulled. Uh, printing plates have been pulled, uh, but yep. not, not no one of one. So a Fab Lab, talk about a Venom Collector. Uh, Fab Lab, I'm just chilling with this tonight, hanging out. Ooh. Just, But uh, he's a Venom guy, great Venom guy. D06, will UD restock again? So that, Hey, look, I think I saw that today. Running around, um, Upper Deck was selling these retail boxes not the hobby but the retail on their website in fact that's where i got my five boxes um and and on upper deck store.com i think is what's called and i heard they're gone like you can't people are asking if they restock sandy what's going on let's see lewis says open four today and pull crap see that's that's the thing like how many are we really pulling um and in the spidey hits discord they're doing their best to keep up with the one of ones that have been public. Mm -hmm. And uh, the math I saw last was about 12% of the one of ones have been pulled and made public up to this point. Oh, wow. It feels like more than that. Cause we've seen so many of those hits, but it's, it's really 12% is not a huge representation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, cause you got 200 cards in the base. They all have one of ones, right? Right. Yep. And then um, the variants, have one of ones and then there's two versions of each one <laughs> it was an auto version and then the non-auto version welcome uh, to the sports card side of things <laughs> hey you know what if box prices stays below 200 i'll take it ah 
If I don't yes. have to pay seven hundred dollars for a box, I'll take it. I mean, and it'll be a matter of time before they figure out. Oh, you know what? We can actually uh, charge a lot stop, more. And, stop. For a lot stop. More we, don't want, we don't want that. <laughs> uh, Jip says thirty-five blasters ripped only had one decent pull with a couple of marginal ones. Wow. Uh, Do six opened eight and got one cosmic out of uh, one twenty-five. Uh, one of twenty-five. Wow. I saw a That's post great. in the Marble Card group on Facebook where a guy opened, and forgive me if my math is wrong, but he opened like eight blasters and pulled six out of tens. <laughs> <laughs> there's the uh, quality control right there. Yeah, there's something. In fact, I think I took a photo of it. Let me see if I got it here because uh, <laughs> I kind of wanted to reference it. Yeah, I bought 10 blasters of platinum, six gold seismics and 10 of the numbered and i'll uh, i'll show the photo for reference oh my goodness uh here so either you get it's either one or the other end of the spectrum you either get yeah. you eat well yeah. or you don't eat at all wow yeah That's... yeah out of tens uh I'll, in my case i pulled one out of ten case of hobby boxes so that's 16 two hundred dollar boxes <laughs> i yeah. pulled one out of ten Sold it for two hundred and seventeen dollars <laughs> on eBay, which means I'll get like what one hundred and seventy five. Right, 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 right. Something like that. Uh, Ryan's here. Uh, he says, "Jen, I need a black Spidey Cosmic." Thanks for pulling. You got it. it. I talked specifically with Upper Deck, and they sent me the loaded box. Oh, you got that. You got that UD connection. That's impressive. yeah. I got the UD connection. <laughs> All right. How about we do this? How about you open your blasters, and then I'll open my blasters. And then we'll get into the the hobby boxes. Sound Perfect. Fun? Sounds good. Uh, go right, my my last four were were duds, so hopefully these four are the ones that are loaded. But how <laughs> how upsetting would it be? Like you you know you spend all the money to buy cases, you open it, you don't get a one on one. You buy like one twenty dollar blaster, and you pull like a one on one, and you'd be like, wow. If I could choose where to pull my hit, I would much rather do it out of a retail blaster because it feels more, the word natural comes to mind. You know what I mean? Like right. where where the hobby is, kind of, they kind of force the cards in there where these is, it's really, it's really luck, right? Hey, it's Ergo. <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, ego here. Ego, yeah. With his uh, mustache. <laughs> Oh, Green Goblin. Yeah. So that See, one. But look at the quality. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, that's... I've seen a lot of real bad cuts like this. I haven't. Of... So that's really interesting. And I'll I'll show some of mine in a minute. But it must be way must off. be a East Coast. Well, it must be a yeah East Coast thing. Right. True Blue's claiming the dominoes. Jake. Well, uh, Nathan can get my dominoes because yeah. uh, he pulled me all those uh, colored Wolvies and those autos oh. from his case break. So mm -hmm. yeah, he is well, welcome he, to. He pulled Beyonder for me. So, but I didn't realize you were the Wolvie. You oh wow, you bought the Wolverine spot. Yeah, you ate. I know. <laughs> Gum, dude. That's why he's allowed to get. Uh, that's why he's allowed to get the dominoes. Hey, oh, nice. I I like this. It's Electra. It's a fun hit. And as we talk about Wolverine, we get a Wolverine. I got to talk about Jake for a second. Jake's a porker collector who um, is claiming to be a spot collector. Air quotes. Spot okay. Because the spot card in this set is the perfect spot card because it is the iconic spot cover of the comic. Okay. That one's way off center too. Yep. And, um, but it, it predominantly features Spider-Man, like even more so than Spot. If you didn't really understand Spot, then you might even not even realize what's happening. And I think he is secretly actually collecting Spider-Man at a much reduced cost because mm. it's under the name Spot. Gotcha. Smart. 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 That is a good way to go. Nice Loki. What, what if, if they, they raise, raise the price? You talking about the blasters? Yeah. They don't need to raise the price. Please don't raise the price. Nah, they can't. 20, 20 is like the, the average blaster price. The, I don't, I mean, obviously there is a price point that would deter some. Whoa, that's cool. Nice little. Yeah, uh, now, th 
that's cut the other way a little too tight. <laughs> it's like overcorrecting, you know, when yeah. you off the road. <laughs> you just, whoops, we're cutting too far to the right. Let's overcorrect. Uh, I like that night thresher. Night thresher mm-hmm. and a Miss Marvel. But just okay. generally raising the price, I don't think would deter uh, some people. But I think it's, this is a very good entry point to introduce people, and it's fun if you can find it in 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 the stores. And if it wasn't, if they were not loaded with these hits, they could continuously print it until the demand dies. Right. But, but I don't know if they could do that with all the hits. Uh, Sandy says I opened four today from Upper Deck, no bangers, but I did get a number to five. Wait a minute. Oh, five number cards. Okay. Nice as was a Spider Gwen cover variant rainbow. Love it. Yeah, these all came from Upper Deck. I wonder if those people got them from Upper Deck or if they bought them in the store. Oh, yeah. look I, at I, this. I see. Yeah, there's magic. Magic. No. You know, it's been funny ever since I've you've started collecting magic. I've seen a lot of magic posts. Like you know, Peach has done a few you know arts on <laughs> magic, and I'm just like, oh, this is I should just tag Justin in these. Yeah, just tag me. Yeah, please. please. <laughs> just like uh, let me be a bad influence on Justin and convince him to buy more. <laughs> it, see, see, I thought I was more the influencer, me. but here you are. Uh, although I did message Peach about her. Uh, her magic <laughs> <laughs> and it's already on its way no she said not now not now ah uh, not now mark how's it going josh dude what's good what's up soul said rip four last night didn't get anything notable either see th- we, we need to get that message out there oh, i do think people might be overthinking what they can get out of a uh of a blaster but they, they're there but it's not Buy five boxes and you're going to get a hit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I like that card. Warriors. Although I think you you know, I, oh, but you got a yellow. Yellow, yep. Yellow spotlight. Oh, Medusa. Yep. Yep. Does anyone remember who said they wanted to start collecting Adam Warlock? I don't know if that's a phrase I've ever heard. It's Morbin time. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that, Soul. Bad Wizard said, 40 inch watchers hit the like. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. You know, Justin is probably a secret uh, Hercules collector. No, no, I'm not a Hercules collector. Uh, he, he, he is. He secretly is. He's just saying that so he can get all the Hercules cards. Cheap. I'm going to give you my address <laughs> in Atlanta. I have, a, I, have the, I have a secret address in, in the uh, ATL that you can send all those to. You can. Ooh, nice cast. Nice and I really do it. like that angel parallel, by the way. Denny going well. Just happy to be live with Jen tonight. <laughs> Sandy says she has eight more coming, hoping for the best. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, now, you know Nathan already pulled that for you. you I know, know, I know, I know. He already pulled it for me. Well, that's a great so. card, though. I really like it. I'll have to use it as trade bait. Yeah. Hey, Sandy, best of luck for you. Marvelously sketched. Thanks, man. I Thank appreciate you. that. Yeah. Oh yeah, tons of yeah. And the blue surges, yeah. So oh, I like this Mysterio. It's a great Mysterio, and the one of one of that one actually looked really good. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> this looks so dark. Like you can kind of like see this, like the face inside. Oh yeah, you get the monster face in there. Yep. Uh, it's re- it's really good. Nice kid, Omega. So, because you have graded quite a bit, what do you think, as Platinum is opened and it becomes more mature, right? Mm-hmm. Like, how much of a role do you think grading will play in Platinum? It really depends because I don't know if a lot of Marvel collectors are really big into, like, grading any of the more modern stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I understand, like <clears throat> like, the much older sets and things like that. Yeah, like I can see like the you know like PNGs and things like that for sure. But I mean, I definitely see a marketplace for some of the for some of the maybe more lower numbered cards being mm-hmm. graded. But, well, you know, and, uh, and why would you say they're more of a market for the lower cards being graded? The lower numbered cards, just because mm-hmm. of the value is there, like the cost to grade and everything like that. I guess if too. I'm if I'm buying a lower numbered card, let's say it's out of ten. Mm-hmm. Um. A, a pop two out of 10 doesn't really speak to me as much as a pop 
11 out of 1200. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. does that make sense? Yeah. Like the lower po- population re- on ho- uh, yeah, over on like, uh, right. Like if there's 10,000 cards graded and only like, well, like 10 of like, them are 10. Well, if you take the 1992 Marvel masterpiece of Spider-Man, Joe Jessica Spider-Man, I can't remember what the number is, but let's say there's 30 PSA 10s, but there's, People have graded that card a tremendous amount, mm-hmm. you know, relatively speaking in the Marvel space. So that card, I want that card in a PSA 10. Right. Uh, I wanted my Silver Flash or Spider-Man in a PSA 10 from 95. But so far, the magics that I pulled uh, and the Spider-Mans that I have, I'm not in, uh, you know, well, let me set Spider-Man to a side because I have a whole different thought about that. But the magic's like I just want to put them in a binder, even the low number stuff. Right. Um, now my my Peter Parker Spider Man collection is a graded collection for the most part, and that is I hate that's all centered, but that's a great yeah, card. It's a nice magnet. I love it. One of one of that pulled today, by the way. Oh. I know. <laughs> uh, now I, I do. I, I, I am kind of, I am excited about grading some of the Spider-Mans in here, but that's just because how it fits in my collection. Right, right. And there's definitely cards that I would like to see sent off and get graded. Thank you, Perna. Perna says I'm sexy. Appreciate that. Hey, I told. Hey, I complimented you earlier. You didn't accept <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> You're like, yeah. ah. I did. Oh, it made me blush, right? <laughs> uh, DJ said dibs on Thanos. Electra is a great card in this set. I yeah. love that, Mr. Fantastic. Uh, you know, I, I just like to grade just because I like to have it in a plastic you mm-hmm. know, holder that kind of keeps the card safe. And usually I just do that for cards that I like to keep in my personal collection. I told a, better, you. a better blob. Better blob, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sandy's calling Daredevil hits. So there you go. Uh GST Warriors 5 says open 10 blasters and was all mid all mid I think tier characters until a null seismic gold out of 10 showed itself. That's Great hit. Nice. I like that thing by the way. Look at that thing and and it's nicely centered too. Mhm. So good. There's Wow, just as we talk about it. Yep. Spider-Man, I mean Spot. <laughs> it's a great card. I love it. I do like the homage to the old Spider-Man with the little webbing under his. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, you know, it's always nice to see, and uh, you know, nice onslaught here. Perfect onslaught card. Yes, the spot cosmic is fantastic. So, if you if you're getting a cosmic card, you have the base cosmic, and then you have the cover variant cosmic. The cover Ooh, variant cosmic, yeah. not great. The base perfect i mean just a perfect parallel um but the cover variant the the you don't get the cosmic background as much right, everybody's claims are coming true here we got a multiple man yep he said he wanted multiple <laughs> of them too discount spidey i love it that's exactly right hey here, here we is. go would it, it wouldn't be an opening without a james Rose. hey he's like yep this is the blaster for you <laughs> oh wait a minute whoa what just happened on the screen I did the thumbs up. Did you see what happened? No, what happened? It like did a, it did, I didn't know it did that. Oh, you must have like some kind of, no. Come on. <laughs> Where's the webs? You got to program it in. Oh. Was that, is a high five? <laughs> what, <else? laughs> what other, what other? Look at that. Justin's just going to be dancing. <laughs> yep. Rainy hit. Yeah. That was Erna amazing. says, is Jen the one who grabbed all the Wolverine cards? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe he was. Yeah. I don't know. Jim says, I've been invited to a flashback sets for the first time. I was wondering how those sets are received by you as collectors. Jim, I think you're talking about being an artist because I remember you saying that you watch the channel while you do art. And when you say flashback sets, are you talking about the retro? Sets. What's up? A little bit better uh, centered to Omega Red. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, George. 
Got a nice silver saber too. Ooh, Jim, can you can you share an image with me? I'll keep, it <laughs> keep going, Jim. All right, here we go. Right to uh, right to Justin's PC. Mm. Let's pull a one on one for Justin. <laughs> yeah, I'll accept it. <laughs> uh, and a magneto. Jen loves to see us spend money. You know he does. I don't know. I like to. Do I like seeing you guys spend the money just as much, <laughs> or do I like to spend the money more than I like to guys see you guys spend money? Right. Uh, Mark Which says I'll it? start tagging Justin and Hercules hits. No. Yes. Yes. Do it. There is there is something called a block button. Uh, <laughs> friend. Uh, Peaches OA prices are expensive. You know. Uh, probably a little over a year ago, Peach offered me a, an OA, and I'm, I don't, I don't uh, publicize artist prices if they don't publicize them. So, I'm not going to do that to her. But it was, it was reasonable, and I didn't say yes at the time, and I regret it. Hmm. I, 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 I do say thanks to Matt Dutillo for helping me get a Peach piece. He's one of the connections. Oh, not a Peach piece, dude. An insanely awesome Spidey peach piece. Until she came out with the another really cool one that I want to get, <laughs> but uh, and, you know, well, when she saw what you paid, she was like, "Yep, I'll do that again." I'll do that Reminds again. me of the Beatles. They were like, anytime they wanted an in-ground pull, they're like, "We'll just write a song real quick." <laughs> <laughs> For uh, Nathan here, yeah, nice Domino. We got a nice Blue Trex Kid Omega. Yeah, Kang wants you to pull a sketch. Absolutely. Oh, that would be good. Um, True Blue um, answered the question. I'm a little slow. Uh, that Ryder uh, 95 is doing Warlock. Everybody get ready for the introduction of Lewis. What's up, dude? What up? What up? Man. Yo, yo, what up? What's, what's up, away, dog? Yeah. <clears throat> Coming to cheer you on, bro. Coming to cheer you guys on. No more. <laughs> Josh says, he's a Hercules collector, but not by choice. Yes, many are called, <laughs> many are called fewer chosen. <laughs> if you had to choose Hercules or Korvac, which one are you taking? Oh, I would take Hercules. I'll take it in Hercules. I'll, take, bro. I'll make a I'll make a shrine for Hercules, bro. <laughs> oh, these ones are better centered. At uh, least Hercules is kind of cool, you know. Yeah, Hercules like, is cool, but we just get yeah. too many Hercules. Too much in every set. There you go. Like, like back off a little Black bit. Panther. Yeah, uh, that Black right, Panther right. swole, bro. He is. He is. He's got. Uh, he's got those extra Yo, he's got. Uh, he's got the eight pack going. Not even nice. six. He just had to get two more. <laughs> uh, George says, "Open four and got a seismic gold new warriors." Oh wow! Yep. All right, Justin, you're up. I'm up. Those are all. Those are all my blasters. All your blasters. Uh, yes. Uh, keep tagging me. Okay. Let me. Uh, let me spin the old camera around here, guys. I'm only using one camera tonight. Yeah, Black Panther is on the juice. Hey, Manu's here. 9.9. Juiced up for sure. Hey, Manu. <clears throat> okay, well, come on, camera. And then, guys, look. You know you want to do it. I got this, and it's damaged, so you know this box is loaded. Let's go. I'm removing you, Jen, and then we're going to do That is fine. Yeah, because it was just not working the other way. Uh, oh, just just look at Justin flexing a little bit oh, back there. Look at all that artwork in the back. Look at all that art. Let's go. Yeah, look. Oh, is I, that uh, well, I was gonna show show a couple things. Like, I got this to uh, yesterday from Ryan McKenna. The centering looks pretty solid too, bro. No, this yeah, wasn't. From, oh, it does. This wasn't from Ryan. Who was this from? Oh man. Yeah, the centering looks good. I'm a terrible friend. Um, but I got this from uh, First Avenger. Oh, that's a good, good, nicely cut one. I think so. Yeah, pretty solid, Perfect. yeah. But it's after seeing some of the other ones. It's real really... easy to tell, man. If you look at the borders of these cards, you can see the little bars. Yeah. And you can count how many bar lines on each side. Yeah, it's definitely fat on this side. Yeah, but a little bit, but bad. I think it might fall within. Yeah, well, at least with PSA, they're they're a little they're forgiving a little bit on centering. Our friend Matt Fuller, the one and only, pulled this for me. It was the Alpha. Yes, I remember that. Isn't oh, that yeah. insane? That's a real he Alpha. Yeah. yeah, the seven ninety nine is ridiculous. Yeah, 
I said that I said this on uh, on on uh, Graydon's channel. I was like, "You're one of ten's cute, but this is a real alpha." You know, one yeah, out of yeah, that, that's a challenge right there. Uh, I thought that was cool. And then uh, the cause I was talking about this earlier, the cosmics. Now I'm very th- grateful to have this card. So don't, this is not me talking bad about the card, but you don't get that cosmic feel effect. Yeah, because it's only on the edges when it's the cover variant. So that's Ooh. the 21 or 25. That still uh, looks really good with those borders, and then you get like that real nice foil. It looks good. Oh, it's a great looking card. <clears throat> got a, I, I'm very pleased I got that one off the of eBay for 120. There, there you go. Yeah. Um, I got a Venom here. I don't collect Venom, so somebody can hit me up for that one. They're interested. So I'm sure uh, there's some Venom. That, that Finch there. Venom looks good, though. Yeah, the Finch Venom is not available, but it does look great. <laughs> 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 but the Carnage is available. This is a Spidey Hits Carnage. Oh, look at you, bro. That's the Spidey Hits. Mm. My first Carnage sketch, so if you're a Carnage fan and you're interested... And get your first Carnage Spidey. Crush it. Yeah, yeah I had fun go. with that one. That was uh that was. I'm still kind of finding my way, doing sketches, but I've been enjoying it. All right, let's get into my first blaster, and then uh, after these two blasters, Jen's got two hobby boxes, and we're gonna just see how they compare. Okay. So this is my first time opening the, the uh, retail blaster boxes, by the way. Mm. Okay. Um, TJ says, I don't do social media. How about an email? Uh, actually, my email is posted on my YouTube channel. It's spideyju09 at gmail.com. S-P-I-D-E-Y-J-E-U-09 at gmail. And you're welcome to email me. I actually got four Marvel card emails today I responded to. Okay. Good luck, Justin. Thank you, thank you. Uh, again, the, I got five of these blasters. The first three did not produce anything great. Ooh, no, that looks nice cool. No, yeah, looks great. Ooh, rainbow cover. I mean, uh, I kind of covers. I kind of nice. covers. A lot of reflection in both of those two. Those don't um, pop up that often. They don't. I was gonna see. Is like if you're a character collector, are you like, are you collecting them because your face is in the background slain? <laughs> like if you're a Cyclops, Colossus, Storm, well, the good thing Cyclops. is there's only two of them, right? You can only get the rainbow or the base, so right. It's not it's that that good. difficult of a journey. Nah. Uh, sorry, guys. I probably should be keeping up with the comments, but I'm not doing a good job. Manu. You crush him, bro. Just keep ripping. Keep ripping. All right. All right. I love this invisible woman. Wow. Nice invisible woman. It's so pretty. I'd like to see who the model was that they used. Got a red. Nice color match there. I dig it. Whoa. What's going on with Iron Man in this set, guys? Somebody help me. Oh, nice. His prices have been the top one. Would y'all say the top prices we've seen has been Iron Man in this set? I don't know about that. I've not seen. Yeah, I haven't really paid attention to Iron Man, but yeah, I I, I haven't said. I'm not saying that I know. Okay, like I'm just saying that I've seen some. I'll tell you dumb, what, that car looks cool as hell, though. It does look cool. I've just seen some with that dumb, background, dumb that dark background like that. It really pops. Yeah, it has that cosmic vibe. Yeah. Yeah. But my, my point is, is I've seen some pretty dumb prices for Iron Man. I'm like, oh, that doesn't that doesn't feel like he should be that high. But well, Ghost, know, is it, it's maybe because it's by Fleming. No, no, I don't think that's the issue. I don't think that's it. I think it's oh. probably either someone's trying to manipulate, manipulate the market uh, or maybe it's just the reality that uh, the, the the movies are having an impact at some point. Go said the gold Iron Man gold went for eight K. Yeah. And then out of five went for four. Wow. It doesn't feel right to me. That's yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I think the one that did eight K didn't have like one bid on it. Yeah, see that makes me nervous. 
Yeah, that one bid. Yeah, that. Aries. Okay. I like this. Hey, if miles. they sold it and they got paid for it, you know what I mean? Powerful. Power to yeah, the good, seller, right? It's for the seller, right? But yeah. Just didn't feel right. Oh, that was our, that was my first box. So our big hit was the Iron Man out of seven ninety nine. Okay. So one numbered hit. Now to the second. Oh, Perna says, did you guys see the video of Justin doing cartwheels in his underwear? Or did he just send <laughs> that only to yes, bro, Perna and underwear, yes. bro. Well, he just exposed I'm, exposed I, you I, now. I, well, I mean, everyone knows I wear Spidey underwear, but that, that's nothing new. But the, the I'm going to have to cut you off, Tony. You can't keep it to us. I have to cut you off. That you'll have to subscribe and, and get <laughs> behind the paywall. Yeah. <laughs> Spidey only friends. Yeah. What do they call that? All right. Spidey. Ooh. There we go. Nice. Hate this card. I know it's whack. It's horrible. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I love I mean, that one though. I love that little mole man. That mole oh, man is is gangster. It is. That's a tiger yeah. dude, right? With the statues. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's cool, man. That, like, yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's a card. If I was a kid, like it would in opening these, like, it could be se seared in my memory. You know, whoa, that went oh, straight to card. the straight to that. Yeah, so should be something. I do like it, the black card. Yeah, and then the rainbow and our base. All right, two packs left. Let's get something big. So far, in, we're in counting on, uh, we're definitely counting on the hobby so far. Yeah. Iron Man. Ooh, and nice King Pitten. And we got a black. There you go. That's a box hit out of a blaster. We'll take that. Yep. Just so, uh, what Lewis means is like if you're opening hobby, the black is your most difficult card to hit of unnumbered parallels. Yep. Yeah. You only get a one of those for one hobby box. RG, how's it going, man? <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. Good luck. Try. Ooh. Ooh, nice. I'll take that. Carnage. Whoa. Whoa. Yellow rainbow. And then I wasn't expecting two hits. Two Seven, wave. 718 and 799. Sometimes you get two. Sometimes you get the boy band, right? <laughs> He looks like he belongs in a boy band. That's what I heard somebody yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you know, I think uh, I think unless you got some dud boxes, uh, Jen. Yeah, Jen, you gotta you got you you should be able to win this, bro. You should you should have uh, hopefully uh, this again. Hopefully. There we go. We'll start with the uh the blessed damaged box. Save that one for last. Save that one for last. Save, yeah, save the fine. damage one for last. Yeah. Damage. The one on one's in there. The one on one's there's oh, a one on okay. one in there, bro. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't. What kind of one on one? I don't know. It could be a plate. It could be a sketch. Watch it be like. Watch it be a different color plate. Black Panther. <laughs> yeah, that that's can, exactly. Uh, exactly. <laughs> the it's, like, it's not hey, just Lonzo. damage. It literally looks like a squirrel chewed a hole in the side of. Yeah, squirrel. That's the one on one trying to come out of the box, bro. Perna, I would be honored to send you some because number one, these cards, these blanks wouldn't exist without you. So yes, uh, consider it done. Just uh, resend me your address uh, if you don't mind. Good luck, big dog. Yes, sir. Right. I'm working my way to opening a whole case since everyone says I have to open a case. You did Justin so. Storm. <laughs> Justin brought the rocket fuel with him. I, I did bring it with me. So, um, yeah, the deal was that if I got to seven thousand subscribers, that he was going to open the rest of a case. Oh, was that? Uh, was that was that, the that, deal. You I thought opened, we were opening. I thought we were opening up more Marvel. Yeah, but it was you were going to get to a case like you were uh, I'm, wor I'm working my way up there. Yeah, we we can let you do it over time. <laughs> <laughs> Your mole man. Rainbow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's hey, look, Cyclops is hot hot right now. 
So and that's they, a good so Cyclops, is, too. That's a they, really this good is Cyclops. A, this, this is a Cyclops tattoo that you need to get. The solo Cyclops. TJ, um, I could use some OAX blanks. I'll trade you. <laughs> there we go. Superior Spider-Man. Yeah. Tricks. Nice. Numbered. Two. What side of the box is that? Three, nine, nine, four, nine. On the right side. Right side. Okay. Sorry if I'm making a bunch of noise. I'm trying to get in this Reese's pack. It's like uh, Spider Man, Spooder Man, Speeder Man, and, Man. and Stacy. There we go. There's the opening. Jen's going straight down all the stud packs. He's like, yeah. <laughs> We're getting them all first. We'll look yeah. at the we'll look at the other stuff later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red Skull. Nice little. Doctor Strange. Yeah, I watched the other night with my kids. Uh, actually, like in the afternoon, watched that uh, the Spider Man, the Amazing Spider Man one, the the Garfield kid. Oh yeah, the one it? versus uh, the lizard. Mm -hmm. Bro, it, it's crazy how much of an emo Spider Man that dude played in that movie. He was the most comedic, which I really appreciated. With the costume on, with the costume off, with the looks and the all oh, the oh and the, and the big hair, I'm just like, bro, this dude's way like with the costume, it was cool, you know what I mean? But uh -huh. dude was way too emo, man. That's like, my real daughter's emo. favorite, but you know, <laughs> two eleven three nine nine Red Hulk choking out. Uh, but the movie was good uh, though. The, I forgot how good the lizard, the lizard character was really good. It was a good, uh, it was a good one. I kind of hate they missed the they mixed the death of Gwen Stacy and Lizard all together into one because you know that's the Green Goblin story, right? Yeah. Well, she, she didn't die in the first one. I think she dies in the second one with Electro. Yeah, that's right. Wait a minute. Her dad dies. Her dad, Her dad dies, dies in the first. Her dad one. dies in the first one. Yeah. Captain Stacy. Yeah, one of the Stacys goes down, but not mm -hmm. not Gwen. We got the electro here. Ooh, nice vision. Yeah, that's a good one. Ah. TJ says he watched uh, The Rise of Surfer after they did the latest casting. Um, and, and I guess if everybody doesn't know, they uh, cast a lady, I don't remember her name, she's very beautiful, uh, to be... Uh, Shala Ball, I think is how she say her name. It's Nor that's Norn Rad, which is Silver Surfer's love interest. And when Galactus comes to devour his planet, he gives himself over to, you know, to be a servant as the, you know, the Herald Silver Surfer to perpetually find planets to feed his appetite in lieu of Galactus destroying his planet with his love interest. But She's going to be a Silver Surfer or the Silver Surfer in the next movie, which has got a lot of people talking. Speaking of Lizard, there I he know. is. There he is. Lizard, yeah, Julia yeah. Garner. There we go. Thank you. What's up, my friend? So Speaking of OAX. Tarantula. OAX, best expo con in the land. We better see everybody there next year. Yeah, you will. Uh, can I get a vendor pass? <laughs> I need a vendor pass. And you need to and you need to show up a day early, Justin, so you don't get caught no in no Ooh, yeah, uh, no flight issues. Yeah, no flight I'm issues. You need to come to the day before, bro. Hours. I'll just spend the night on the beach and then just finish the drive the next day. I feel like that would be better. That it allow me to bring or bring home some OA or uh, art. That as is well. true, yeah. Dormammu. Nice saber tooth. Dude, you're awesome. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. I'll make some great content again. Red Havoc. <laughs> Manu. <laughs> what do we do with the mountain base? <laughs> we need um, to build a fortress at OAX, bro. Base cards. <laughs> we should all make capes of all of the base just, cards that we it's have. It's just piles of this everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even lying. It's like all over there, all over here. There's... We should all just make capes. There's piles everywhere. 
All right, so there's one pack left on the right side and off to the left side. Uh, so you leave the juicy pack. You you got it. You got uh -huh. it. You, you know what you're doing. Yeah. Justin taught me well. Yes, yes. Yes. All right. You got Howard Duck. Yeah. Well, someday someone's just going to get to come through the, the two rooms and just sort through it all and enjoy it. For now, it just stacks up. Well, when you drive you can, uh, to a convention, you should just bring them and just hand them out. I did that at Atlanta. Yeah. And that was, the, that was the most exhausted I've ever been. <laughs> That's why I've only ever done one show as a vendor, like selling Purple. stuff. Ooh. Oh, that's a gangster one, too. Ooh. Being that's a vendor gangster. at a con is a lot of work. It is. Manning that booth, no joke. Purple Rainbow. I couldn't leave. I couldn't go see stuff and buy stuff and make content. I couldn't hang out with my Center friend. And, Center and looks respectable, too, Jim. Yeah, it does. It's got your name on it. Um, like to comment said, I got a warning on my phone about it all the way up in upstate New York. I don't know what he's talking about. The earthquake. What earthquake? The one yeah, that was in New York in, in New York today. Yeah, there was oh, two. That, one in the morning and one around six. Oh, you know I don't follow the news, right? Oh shit! I know there was a second one. Yeah. Shower curtain out of rain cards. <laughs> I mean, they are glossy enough to repel the water. Yeah. A 4.6? What is it? The apocalypse? 4.6 and then a 4. Dang. And then there was the 7 in, in Taiwan. So I don't think New York is built for uh, earthquakes. Mm-mm. Crossbones. We don't, need, we don't need that to happen. Grandmaster. I do remember when, uh, as a kid, it felt like only only California got earthquakes. Yeah, we actually get them in Louisiana, and they yeah, there's actually been one that sent the Mississippi running north, the Mississippi River. Nice red Ultron. In fact, uh, the reason they call LSU Stadium Death Valley, like you can't hear, not like you die, Death Valley, um, is because. It was so loud when LSU beat Florida, which was ranked number one in the nation when they had Steve Spurrier, that it actually caused uh, a blip on the Richter scale of an earthquake. Oh, wow. Nice uh, platinum duo's rainbow. Very nice. Got the Black Winter, Colleen Wing, and Marvel Girl. Yeah, solar eclipse on Monday. Don't look. Don't don't stare right into it. I guess we're 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 uh we're getting handing out glasses at the bank for people to come by and watch. Oh, it. what is it? Monday? Is it solar yeah. eclipse Monday? What time? Oh man, uh, I don't know if we'll be able to see it on. I don't know if it's passing. Over. I'm in the path. I'm in the eighty percent path of totality. So maybe I'll just uh, uh maybe I'll open a box of Marvel cards during the eclipse. Right at the peak. Like, yeah, <laughs> that sounds oh, fun. Oh, 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 open that portal. Yep. I tell you what, I got a box of Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. I'll, oh. I'll do that. I'll open that. That's a perfect there. time for that. That's cool. The uh, the hundred percent path of totality, I think, is in like Russellville, Arkansas, which is. Was oh, this the big black? Hack? No, that's a great. Oh, then you're black, dude. That's a good one. Love All that. Center. That's a good black parallel. But um, Rainbow, yep. they're like charging like seven hundred dollars a room for people to stay there. It's nuts. Just for the small window that the eclipse mm -hmm. will happen. Oh, nice! That kind of covers. Yeah, I think Texas and Arkansas, parts of Oklahoma, they're and then keep going that way. I think are getting the path of totality. Dark Phoenix, Storm, and Morbin time. <laughs> okay, this is fun. Made to worship, called to love, says CERN is trying to open a literal black hole. So as well. Nice. CERN, if you don't know, uh, likes to take 
you know, uh, particles and smash them together to try to recreate the Big Bang. <laughs> or, as they say, the moments after the Big Bang. Yeah. And um, they've been shut down for a while now. And they're they're reopening up uh, he, on the 8th. Oh, uh, nice. And they've, like, amplified it. I can't remember how much. It's something stupid. Um, but if you're watching that new show, uh, Third Body Problem, CERN plays a role in that yeah. show. <laughs> Nice color, which purple, a little off center. That's a nice one. Mm -hmm. The multiverse is real. Mm -hmm. I've seen that That's show. Scary. They're talking about that. What's that show about, bro? Do you know? Well, I don't want to give it away, so I'll, I'll be. I'll limit what I what I'm saying. It's, yeah. Uh, but. Oh, goodness gracious. Does it have to I've do only, with like extraterrestrials like, and stuff like I've that? Four, I've only watched four episodes. Okay. okay. Um it's a it's a hydrogen uh collider uh manu. They take hydrogen particles and they smash them together at the speed of light and then watch what the particles do and what they try create to, try to understand yeah. how the how the universe may have been formed out of nothing. Right, this imagine, is the last pack on the right side. <laughs> nice Quicksilver. Um, but do you know what CERN is is really really famous for? It was the first place that the internet ever was activated and used. Like, oh wow, nice! Yeah. Oh, I saw orange. You saw orange. You I saw orange. Check. You saw. Yeah. You saw nothing. I could, yeah, I saw, I saw a little. Oh, oh! You, you let it. You let you know. You let us. You let but us see. I, it. I let a little bit too much come out. Yeah. Oh, oh that's it. not orange. That's red. No, it's it. there. It's no, there's coming. an orange behind it. It felt like a card trick. Like I thought, the orange was about to come, and you, he you just slipped a one on one in there real quick. But yeah. Manu, the the Higgs boson particle was discovered in CERN. Just, so. just run it, dog. Just just pull pull that shit. Yes. Oh, that's hard. Onslaught. I like it. It was gangster. But the the Higgs boson particle is a a, a particle that is that that you know, physicists say gives gives matter weight and mass. Mass or weight, I can't remember the exact term. So where gravity is because you have you have an, an object that's larger than you that has gravitational pull, right? What is able to pull you, the reason it's able to pull you is because of the Higgs boson particle, which gives you weight and mass. That's why you don't just float out in the anywhere. But they say that was discovered or a theory confirmed at CERN by smashing these particles together. Cool man, Logan and Hank Pym. All right, the last pack. I used to study science before Marvel cards. So it's All not right. fast food. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have a feeling it might help us get fast food faster, which brings me to a funny story this morning. My wife is like, she's using this something, using this, um, this site where she gets home chef, I think is what she's called. Silver surfer. And I'm like, baby, if you literally push a button and you get meals delivered to us, isn't that the Jetsons? <laughs> Like, isn't that what they do in the Jetsons? Like, they push the button and yeah, on the food? computer and the food, yeah. That's it will come right out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Art G, I literally had a discussion with my wife today about the second law of thermodynamics because she didn't understand it. So. Got a blue Cosmic Ghost Rider. Nice. No, that looks cool with the blue. Wait, CERN is the reason for the Mandela effect, in your opinion? Wouldn't Mandela be the reason for the Mandela effect? Mandela effect, as I understand it, is when uh, two different views of something appear to be true. You know, like people thought Mandela was dead, but he wasn't. But like half the population believed he was dead, half the population believed he wasn't. And I really thought the Mandela effect was because it was at a period of time where we didn't have the internet, so you couldn't just like actually fact check it immediately. Mm -hmm. 
And so the Mandela effect was created. But now we live in the information age where you can bet something out pretty quickly and just yeah. and figure out if someone's alive or not. Um, but I'm not sure how CERN. I don't know. All right. Oh, are, we, are we going to the damage box now? Let's go. Here's the one on one. It's one on one. Yeah, time. Look at that. Look at it. Show that again. It's Squirrel like somebody called out of it. I think Squirrel you're one on one called out. My one on one Hercules. Entropy isn't what it used to be. <laughs> hey, that's because of that's because of the second law of thermodynamics. Uh, today's his uh, today's science lesson. <laughs> I know. I thought I w I forgot I was on the Marvel Channel for a second. Sorry, bro. sorry. I'll shut up. I felt like yeah, I was yeah. back in school. I almost started yeah, taking I know. notes. I was like, I was like, well, like I'm looking for, gonna, I'm looking not, for a notepad and a pen. The, is this going to be on the test? <laughs> hey, your box, your box is proof of the second law of thermodynamics. It's, it's going from order to chaos. That is it's getting true. worse. There you go. Getting worse and worse. <laughs> All right, better rate bill. Nice. Last, Last off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one on one trying to bust out. I love it. I don't want to. It must be a Hulk. Just smash, Hulk smash. Nah, it's probably going to be like a Black Panther that I'm going to have to have to call you. And... Yo. <laughs> I was like, hey, let's talk uh, <laughs> after the stream. Or do you yeah. actually be very passionate about it, to be honest with you? Hey, there you go. Yellow thing. So now do I have to start collecting the rainbow th of, of thing? Hey, I actually like that card. I, I pulled a nice auto out of it, but I traded it. Mm. One of one James Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I would take it. Spidey. And then the Spooderman. Hey, whoa. Spider-Man and Gwen Stacy. Uh -oh. Happened like that last time. Jim, I'm with you. I'm all about having questions. Hint science. Conspiracy theory stuff. Not, not a big fan. Well, let's get into the conspiracy theories then. Oh, okay. Yeah. Influencer boxes, right? <laughs> yeah, that's one of them. Uh, made to worship called to love says I'm needing the one of one high series Black Panther. All right, I'll do my best. <laughs> but uh, you know, Alonzo always gets first dibs or first right of refusal. So, <laughs> Ron Lamb is great. Th that's who the artist is for Thing. Is Ron Lamb? Yeah, of course. Lewis definitely gets first dibs on Black Panther, no doubt. Electron um, Red. Oh, Red Ultron. Nice, dude. Such a fantastic Ultron. This one, I like. I love. I can't wait to see those regular rainbows slabbed up. I sent, out, sent in a bunch of a bunch of different ones and like that. Like, how good is that oh, car going to look in the slab? It's going to look great. Yeah. Where'd you and, send it to PSA? Oh yeah. Uh, I like the comment says Justin needs a second channel about science and physics. The problem is, is after two minutes, I run out of stuff to talk about. I love it. It'd just do uh, just do uh, ooh, beast amber from a blaster. A wow. Blaster. That's insane. That's Wolverine. D's. I love that. Keep digging in. History and science is important. History is important so we don't re repeat well, the mistakes of the past. Amen to that. Surfer. Hence we keep, but, but okay. So Jen, then why do we keep buying boxes? Because we forget. <laughs> <laughs> this is why history is very important. We're just living proof that history no, is No, the answer important. is science. <laughs> for science for science we're we are we're 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 expressing an uh like an experiment oh we're collecting, the, we're, we're collecting the data this is the this for, is a science experiment for right? future generations blasters versus hobby hobgoblin that's a nice hobgoblin and then people are going to come back to this video and they're going to see the science experiment and go real you yeah, know what <laughs> i heard rumors conspiracies right, about right these blasters you. being loaded but jen and justin uh, it, uh, Lewis to you know witness it saw that it's not it's it, it hobbies are better. I got a hobgoblin right behind a hobgoblin. <clears throat> nice black rainbow. Mm -hmm. The red scarlet witch will look amazing in a PSA slab. Yeah, 
some nice color matches would be really good. TJ says, just read a brief history of time. Uh, I need to read that. If I only had the time. It's all data purposes. That's he's right. It's right. The ratio and the math. It must be confirmed. Buy, golden, must buy over and over. The golden ratio. <laughs> but yeah. But that's a that's an yeah. architecture. No, the is it the golden ratio or the golden triangle? It's an architectural term. Golden ratio is found everywhere. Fibonacci sequence. Oh, is it? Yeah, is, but it's, it's ratio. This golden ratio. Yeah. Okay. Getting one star. You got ego. I like his I like mustache. It. So it's, it's very good. nicely. It's nicely full. Oh, She-Hulk. Nice. The She-Hulk makes me feel... I don't know. I don't... Is it the proportions? Like, her face seems... Well, it's how long, it's how long Com this is. Oh. The oh yeah, I'm definitely not a fan of the... It's also the kind of too clean. Image. There's a lot better She-Hulk images they could have chosen for that. The golden nugget. <laughs> oh, God. Now I want some chicken nuggets. That's a cool looking card. It is Mike Allred, and he's a great artist, so I'm not. Nice purple Malekith. <laughs> Jim just said, I gotta put this on the screen. I just told my wife that science is pulling me towards buying Marvel cards. She can't argue with science. Oh. Yeah. There you go. go. It's not a theory, it's a fact. <laughs> Although some would argue that theories are facts but that's another discussion. So whenever your wife or your girlfriend complains about you spending money on Marvel, just say, but it's all for science. Yeah. yeah. I, we we, we, people. we yeah. need to collect the data <laughs> and compile it together. That's that's why people come to the Spidey His channel. Exactly. Uh, TJ says, I was, a sur uh, I was a silver surfer that got me more into science and Thanos got me more into philosophy. That's interesting. Well, both of those. Nice tracks. Mm -hmm. Justin's on to something. <laughs> like, I can talk myself into anything. Rainbow Vulture. Jim says, gravity is a theory, but I'm not arguing with it. So how do you fly? How does how do, how do you fly? Like, you go, Ooh. whoa, mighty hit. Nice. There we go. And it's nicely centered. Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. nice from here. Like you go to the edge of the Grand Canyon, right? And uh, and you like it's really useful to know the, the theory of. of oh, the Grand, look what's right? behind it! Jeez. What is that? No, oh, another Spidey hit. Let's I go. Might, I might another an, another Spooder man. I might have to trade you. And that oh, one looks pretty nice well too. centered. Too. Very well centered too. What's what the, is uh? What's eighty four? It's a good year. The year my wife was born. Oh, one well, one short of me. Eighty five. Oh wait a minute! You're you're younger than me. Yeah, I'm 1985. Did you think I was older than you, Justin? I had no idea. I thought you were older than me. I what? Look up to you. You know, like in wisdom, maturity. Uh, I've I've <laughs> just lived a long life. I've lived many <laughs> lives. <laughs> BP, what's up? He said I jumped on watching with my seven-year-old nephew. Best of luck. Thank nice. you. Nice. Rabbit Tarantula up. and hey, another multiple man. <laughs> but he looks like he's like, uh, like, oh, he, is he in the streets begging? Uh, he's pondering something, or he got hit in the head. Well, it looks like somebody's giving him something down here. Yeah, the cash. Is. It's either cash or trash, dude. Uh -huh. Do you know how many corners he could work? Oh, he can make <laughs> so much, so much money. Oh, can you imagine all the pranks he could pull? Like, you would see him walk by, and then he, another one of him would just walk up in front of you and ask you the same question, and you'd be like, what? But he could give himself money. Like, he could both beg and get, like, <laughs> he get the benefit of giving and the receiving all in once. Vision. Ken says, how we living? That's uh, our buddy VP. Mr. Nick said, hey, Spidey right. and crew. Hope everyone's having a great day. It's marvelous, man. Look at this nightmare. 
Uh, 51, I can confidently say that age does not equate to wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I, I've been reverting, that's for sure. This invisible woman. Born in 81. Another one uh, for Justin? Shush. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, multiple men just tried to explain Marvel science to his wife. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't get it. Got a nice view vision. 84 is a good year. No oh, that's Man. cool. Killing, uh, killing the this? onslaught tonight. I, I, the guess rainbow gonna, in that sucker, I, guess, bro. I guess I'm going to have to be an onslaught collector now. So you guys know, and I'm pretty sure Lewis knows, but one of the greatest Marvel cards ever actually came out of the Onslaught product in the 90s. There's a set that's called Onslaught, has pretty incredible cards in it, uh, just from an art standpoint, but it has on-card autos from Stan Lee, Rob Liefeld, and Jim Lee. Oh, wow. The Rob Liefeld and Jim Lee's are on Captain America and um, and Silver Surfer. Jim Lee's on Surfer. Rob is on Captain America. It's believed to only be 100 of each. And then Stan Lee signed two cards. So it's assumed that there was 100 of each of those. It was Iron Man and who was the other one? Somebody in the comments helped me. Misty Rainbow. Oh, I can't remember the other character. It wasn't one that I would, Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Fantastic. And so anyways, incredible set, but here's the problem. Don't run to eBay and buy boxes of Onslaught because guess what else it is? That's a nice card. That is a nice. They brick like no other set, maybe 93 masterpieces, but they brick so bad. So if you buy a box of Onslaught, you pay a lot of money for it. And then you're going to have a miserable time opening the packs because they break could, so you just rehydrate it right. <laughs> <laughs> or put it in the microwave for science, right? What it, or the freezer? What how, Free, you could do the freezer or then there's like uh like you put it in like a humid environment or, Oh, you don't freeze it and you don't, you, you can, don't you can it freeze it and, and try to, <laughs> <laughs> now you just put it's it over a nice little, o, o, nice little open flame. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. Nick, Falcon. he says, I was hoping there would be a good distribution of Platinum Hobby and Blasters here in Australia. Blasters can only get via resellers and hobby packs 40 each. That's too much, okay? Oh, um, yeah. Ooh. The nice Spidey hit. But we're, we've been seeing a lot of product open in China and put on eBay. So I don't know if that helps, but Magneto. somehow they got it. Dude, Dude you gotta but, start. But it's, but, but your, it's, your onslaught, yeah, your onslaught journey starts tonight, bro. Night, baby. But I need a better centered onslaught red. Mm -hmm. Uh, the foxhole said, "What's the best affordable Marvel box to get at the moment? Is it anything other than platinum?" No, I think platinum is the only one right now. I mean, yeah. you could well. So beginnings is half the price. It's it's a fun rip, but you don't. It's, it, to me, it's not as fun. You don't get as many, you know, quality hits typically. But it is right. half the price. Um, All right, gentlemen, we are down to the last two packs. Oh, best of luck, man. Which one's the big stud pack? I guess it's going to be the one on the left. Is it? We'll see. We'll, we'll know soon it's enough. Good, Ghost says, welcome to the Onslaught family. Yep. Fern is looking good for his age. We know that, man. Nice red skull. Great red octopus. You got Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. Nice Colossus. Hernan wants to know, Jan, if you got all of your Wolverine cards from him. Oh, I did. Excellent. Oh, do I get, do I, did I get all the ones I need? I have to see. I have to sort <laughs> through. And hopefully. Nice blue Star Lord. Mm hmm. Yes, it's okay. yellow. Okay. In a boy a band. Yellow spotlight, right? Yep. You're good. Are you going to end where I ended? With... Oh. So many they need sorting. 
Nice platinum duos. Daredevil and Kingpin. Not the rainbow. Nope. Just got a Grim Reaper, a Thor, and a Venom. Great Venom. All right. Last pack. You got this, bud. Yeah, you can come over anytime and see my Wolvie cards. <laughs> I don't have that many. I don't have that many. But I guess I'll have to start. And this has got to be your big hit. Groot. Groot. Electra. Yes, sir. Magic 101. Come on, please. Please, please. Black Panther 101 or Magic 101? I will let the chat decide. <laughs> hey. You're muted, Lewis. You're muted. So it, Magic wins. <laughs> I said, I don't care what you hit. I just want to see you hit one of them, bro. Yeah, so that would be wonderful. Nice. Hey, I think it's I another orange. Right Is there, it? Man? I think so. No. No, oh, that's an orange. Is that an orange auto? No, it's or, another red. Oh, it's going to oh, be a red auto. That's a red auto. Come on. Be a good one. Come on. Can can we tell what it is? Oh, uh, is, is that one of the Taggarts? No, Beast. Oh, no, it's nice beast. beast. There you go. I like that. Yeah, not Hercules, Jim. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost was secretly hoping for the one of one onslaught. I know that would have been nice too. Oh, I'd love to see you pull that. Nicely centered. Yeah. So the artist red autos, I'll give you guys some intel that I've seen. So um, I've been able to, to see photos of artists who have signed their cards. And from what I can tell visually, it looks like there's about 80 reds, hmm. 80 reds that are unnumbered. And so I think the next lowest number is what, 35? Orange out of 35? Yeah. So it goes it's, a lot of autos. it's a lot of autos of each character. And so when you're deciding to buy a red, um, for the most part, just you can kind of use it as a gauge more than likely. However, the checklist does have certain artists who have SSP listed by their name under the red autos. And I have seen some of those and uh, they look to be numbered less than 15. I mean, uh, actually less than 15. So there's some artists who have SSP listed next to their name on the checklist on the red autos. They're going to be more rare, rare than the numbered oranges. Are. We shocked Perna because Perna was like, "How did you guys know it was going to be an auto?" And oh. it's the big hit was on always on the left side. And so he's either going to be a, a low numbered card like the orange onslaught or right. an auto. And having two reds back to back kind of mm -hmm. gave us the hint that it would be. Hey, it's great in here. Oh, there he is. What's up, dude? How's it going? What up? What up? Last pack magic. I do like that the cards have the artists like on card autos yeah the one thing i hated about panini products was just like uh, the higher end products had always like stickered autos and stickered autos is just oh, you know, which, <laughs> or scarlet witches but yeah. uh yeah it's count. nice to get uh Eleanor, that. what's up not bad big right. dog justin i think you're up i'm done you don't have any uh no, that was it. Who's I thought we only had two. I only had two of uh, two of the. Oh, boxes. I thought you. I thought you had two. Uh, also, uh, I uh, hobby boxes. I do not. I haven't. I've have ripped uh, through everything. You have ripped through everything. Well, yeah. Looks like we need to buy some more cases for science. Science. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> for science. <laughs> uh, Joshua says, "Hey, oh, uh, only say hi for a second. How are you, my friend?" Uh. It's witchcraft, I tell you. No, it's science. There's a difference. It's science. It's rooted in 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 facts. Uh, Mr. Nick said, perhaps they've opened so many boxes they've worked out the pattern. I'll tell you, we've opened enough that it doesn't seem like it shouldn't be obvious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, like about six cases, I believe you guys have opened. 
Lewis, how many have you been a part of now? I don't even know, bro. I've been a part of so many character case breaks here and there from different homies, man, and different breakers. I, I don't even know. Yeah, you get you get been quite a few. Talk. It's been quite a few. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's been quite a few. I can tell you there's a lot more one-on-ones being hit out of blasters and hobby boxes. That's for sure. Yeah. So um, we've been keeping up with a list of the one-of-ones that have been hit in the uh, Spidey Hits Discord. And I will pull that up and give you a list of the ones that have been hit. Yeah, I feel like the majority have been blaster hits, man. So, where do I go to pinned? <laughs> I don't even know how to find it. Should be I'm the, the one who pinned it. Let's see here. All right. So, these are the one of ones that have surfaced as of today that we've we've looked at carnage mighty thor blob dr voodoo nova professor x thor mr fantastic hella silver surfer iron fist dr strange colleen wing storm legion vulture hercules himdall red skull winter soldier spider-man juggernaut drax spider gwen saber tooth uh, Hobgoblin, Ghost Spider, Ares, and Mysterio. Those are the artists one of ones. The golden treasures we've seen is Red Hulk, Miss Marvel, Annihilus, Watcher, Ghost Spider, Magic, Mysterio, Spider Woman, Null, uh, Magneto, card number 164, because there's two uh, oh, Magneto. Right Carnage, Bullseye, Hawkeye, Quicksilver. Howard the Duck, Hella, Wolverine, which is Old Man Wolverine, I believe. Uh, Magneto card number eight, 181. And then we've seen the variant covers. We've seen Storm, Electra, Carnage, Spider-Man, Blastar, and Sandman. So that's how many one-of-ones that we've seen publicly that have been hit. But we have the ones we haven't seen publicly. And then you have the fact that some people are keeping those private, and then some people, I think, might be grading them before they show them. Yes, RG. Um, I will have to say, I contributed nothing to that list. That is, um, that's all the Spidey Hits gang, and but especially Ryan Beckner, uh, the supersized collector of Juggernaut. He's been helping keep that keep that list going, except for the one on one Hercules. What? You're a one on one Hercules. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. So, so from Nathan's break, mm -hmm. got the Rainbow Wolverine, the red. I guess uh, it's all centered. Oh, yeah. I just noticed that. I like that card a lot. Nice Galactus. Ron Lim, too. We're talking about a creator for Silver Surfer. Yeah. Like, it's like an actual comic book creator. Orange. So it's the creator art variant auto orange rainbow. Crazy. <laughs> nice carnage teal. Mm -hmm. Teal wave. Magneto. Is that Is Magneto rainbow? get the did he get wave. the best treatment in the whole set? Is Magneto at the top? I think so. He's gotten some really nice cards. He's got a great low there series artwork, obviously. He's got the great high series of Jim Lee art. Perfection. Might have to, might have to do He's that. got the wonderful white costume high series. Yeah. That white one. This is nice venom. Jesus, Jen, how many characters did you get, bro? A lot. Kind of match with the blue venom. How'd you that hit all your... That boy went hard, boy. That boy went hard. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one I like oh. the miles that's a good hit Ron Michael Bendis is an important creator in, in, in modern comics important look at you jeez but I'll be and, honest with you I was pondering that miles spot man I was pondering I it <laughs> Nathan said that you passed on it yeah, I was like, you know what? I got, I got, I got enough characters. Let let the other homies get a piece. Blue That's tracks. How in the world did you hit Wolverine so well in one case? That's yeah, Nathan. And now the red. That's better centered. 
Shit. Nuts. Crushed it, bro. Completely crushed it. Yeah, Nathan did right for you. That nice. Nice. Thank you, though. No, Perna. We don't need a muscled up Spidey. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I do like my Spidey a little bit more muscular. A little more meat on the bones? I do, yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, snap. That's genius. <laughs> hey, are y'all enjoying X-Men 97? I'm liking it. My kids I'm... are liking it. I'm surprised. Really? My younger, my two younger daughters, they they're like, hey, when's the next episode? Like the first, the first time I watched it, they were, it was the first three episodes, and we watched it episode after episode. Like at, and we started watching like at ten o'clock at night, and we just started watching them, and and they didn't fall, they didn't pass out on me. They stayed up. I was, I'm the one falling asleep. Wow. Then I dad, let's watch the third episode. And then we watched the third episode, and then we had to wait till the following week for the fourth one. So that is really mm. cool. I don't know that my girls have watched it yet. Yeah, they, they 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 like it. They like it. They like it for sure. The only thing that I don't like about the show is a couple of the of the outfit slash costume choices for some mm -hmm. characters. Like I'm cool. not digging the gambit, like the gambit gear when he's in the kitchen. You know what I mean? It's kind of a little suspect. Um, <laughs> But it and then the Magneto, of, yeah. the Magneto costume with the with the. But it's right out of the comics, though. I I understand that. I understand that, but I, that ain't the Magneto that I know. At least no, you know what I, I mean. They're going to give us the Magneto we know at some point, and and it's going to make it worth it. Yeah. So they enjoy it, man. They they like it. They like it. they like it so much. We started watching the original the original one on uh, Disney Plus. Yeah, so watch like the first couple episodes. So, so like um, the OG OG one. I don't I don't want to ruin anything for anybody who hasn't seen the most recent episode, but um, it's got some really good Easter eggs in it, especially if you're a '90s kid. Like, Ooh. great! Like immediately you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, gosh, I don't want to ruin it. It's still too soon, but they did some really cool stuff uh, in that episode. And it's really like two episodes in one. Now, the show that I'm obsessing about, though, bro, I don't know What's if you that? watched it, is Shogun. No, uh-uh. What is it on? It's on uh, Hulu. Oh, I never get it. It's about like 15, I think it's the 1500s, 1600s, right around there. Mm -hmm. It's the story of... Um, uh, I forgot what was his... Uh, it's pretty it? much like ancient Japan, bro, with like samurais and stuff, oh, I'm bro. Into it's, samurai stuff. I'll watch yeah, it. it's it's pretty insane. Uh, you just got to watch it, bro. It's it's graphic. It's not definitely not something you want your kids to watch. Oh god, what was that? Yeah. There was a there was a show on Netflix that popped up. Anime samurai, female samurai. It was an amazing show. I watched. Oh it. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I get at the end of them like, okay, where's season two? They haven't even green. They're like, they're not even talking about making a season two yet. Yeah, they need to. Yeah, Those so pretty much ones. the Shogun is the is the story of um, of Tokugawa Ieyasu. I believe he was the second Shogun in Japan. Man, that was um, off your tongue. He was a beast, bro. Like beast, like super big, important figure in that time in Japan, and. And it's it, it's 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 a gangster show. It's gangster. Yeah, Blue Eyed Samurai. Well, I'm definitely gonna watch it. But Blue Eyed Samurai is the one I'm talking about. And when you get done with, uh, yeah, I, I was so disappointed. Oh, the, the, the anime end. one. Yeah, I seen yeah. it. I seen it. I and seen then I'm it. like, okay, yeah, it's like, good, but you can't compare. That's like, yeah, oh, course, course. Shogun's a masterpiece, bro. That's, that's it's so better cool. than Blue Eyed Samurai. Oh my god, oh, bro. I'm watching it, bro, bro, bro. It, it's oh, like you don't even live. know what you. Hey, if you like historic, like if you yeah. like history and you like the ancient times, mm -hmm. bro, like you, you don't even. We'll put it to you like this: Rotten Tomatoes. You know, Rotten Tomatoes, the critic. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Those dudes are ridiculously rough and harsh on a lot of movies and shows. They gave this show a hundred percent. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah. Now, here's the deal with yeah. that 97. But yeah, yeah no, the, sh the Shogun is an adult show, but dude, it's it's next level, bro. All right, so Mr. Nick says, what do you guys think about um, Invincible? Have you watched it? Mm -mm. No. Um, I'll give you my little quick assessment. It's a filler show for me. Like, it's okay. Um, it's, it's going too slow for me personally. Um, and it's really violent, like, like over the top on purpose violent, but, um, it's all right. Not great. I'd much rather watch Blue Eye Samurai and I think I'm going to love Shogun. Yeah, bro. So, uh, Blue Eye Samurai, it's, it's a, it's an anime. It's a cartoon. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> fantasy and stuff. The Shogun stuff, like the stuff really went down, bro. Like. They're performing seppuku in front of you on the on the screen, bro. That's so crazy. It's crazy, bro. Yeah. Wait, you know you know what that is, right? I'm I'm guessing you know what that is. If Say that again. Uh, seppuku, know you know what that is, right? It's, it's uh, the a samurai it's a, a samurai way of uh, committing suicide in honor of yeah, Say it's it seppuku. It's pretty much like uh, it it's it's name? like a ceremonial like. Um, uh, you know, yeah, uh, you know, you about. kill yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I just don't remember that being the the name. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's why samurai carry two blades. Sure one, one the the long one. sword for battle, and then the short sword. It's, I forgot it's, what it's called. It's, I think it's uh, Kimayashi or Kimayashi, something like that. I forgot what the name of the <laughs> small sword is. And what that's the doing? one where, like, they oh. would prefer to sacrifice themselves than be captured, man. He said, "Uh, we would do Sepa cool in the schoolyard." I don't really? Know that's so crazy! Know that's yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so I talked okay. to my girlfriend about this. I'm like, "Look, you're you were blessed to be born in the United States, and it's wonderful. I'm very grateful that you were. Yeah. Uh, here, we value independence and freedom, but for a lot of history and throughout most of the world, they actually valued honor over freedom." And, you know, and, and obviously I think there can be an unhealthy aspect to that personally, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but there can be an unhealthy aspect of, of, you know, claiming independence and freedom and, and lacking honor. Right. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, obviously I kind of want them to land <laughs> more in the in middle, the middle. Too. Uh, but, but honor is a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. You'll love that show, bro. Definitely uh, history in one episode. It's a good night. Yeah, we had we had science talk. We had history, uh -huh. a little bit of ethics. It's yep. like college all over again. We'll 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 save philosophy and uh, psychology for another night. That's that's when the news on here. Ah, uh, RG says Justin, if you remember the Wolverine movie where the general performed Sepakua before Logan jumped down the well when the nuclear bombs went off. I, I definitely remember, and I've seen it in, you know, played out in a number of different shows and movies. I just didn't realize that that was what it was called. Yeah, it's any, pretty insane, dude. Any old heads in the in here remember the X-Men show showing up in Spider-Man? His Amazing Friends? Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends? I don't remember. I, I didn't really watch that if you're talking about with Firestar and uh, Iceman. Is that the one? The Jews were, yeah, of course the Jews were enslaved in Egypt, but I'm not talking about everywhere all the time for all history, but in a lot of history and a lot of the world, it's honor over freedom. Uh, please no math. <laughs> e equals MC squared. Uh, I'm with homie, man. When you start adding letters to numbers, you lost me. <laughs> 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 No algebra here tonight. No. <laughs> no. Uh, this old Chris Rice song. It said, uh, "Smell the color nine. <laughs> oh, it's but yeah, it's it's pretty wild, pretty insane. The, the stuff you see, the way, because you never really gotten that. We've gotten very few movies that, you know, that like showed that like the, like the real way that that culture was in those times you know what i mean and this show delivers yeah. that i mean and i'm not a i'm not a historian here but it but it's my understanding that the the samurai kind of way i mean it's influenced a lot of our own culture 
especially like the the samurai western aspect of things that's impacted star wars a great deal right in the way that star the whole kind of uh setting and mythology and lore around star wars is 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 kind of played out visually in the same way that a samurai western is played out mm. and this uh, what do they call them spaghetti westerns is that what they call them I can't remember, but anyway, I remember seeing that. Um, the yeah, the first episode of Firestar's background. I, I've never seen it. I honestly, I've never seen Spidey and Friends. Uh, I've seen images and things like that, but that's it. Space Samurais. There we go. We call those Jedi's. <laughs> <laughs> what with a with, with a uh, their lightsabers. Yep. I'm old enough to remember that one. Same animation of Spider-Man swinging on his web 24 times in each episode. <laughs> I missed it. Like I was, I was born in 83, but in September. So a little you know, later in the year, my first cartoons were Scooby-Doo, Tom and Jerry, Elmer Fudd, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck. I mean, that, that, that whole, uh, that whole stuff. That whole group Jetsons. of people. I loved oh, it. The Jetsons. Yeah. I can't, I don't I remember, remember memory that. lane a lot of people don't people be like what what shows yeah pump for Fleer ultra wolverine should be coming out this month is it really this month already man so much coming all at once let's look it up yeah Carl. yeah bro like you can't even digest anything and you get smashed with another meal bro well i have i have a case ordered goodness gracious And that'll be the new excitement, the new craze. Yeah, I hope not. Um, let's see. Hey, fellas, I'm going to let y'all go. I want to come in and just say what's up. I'm going to go and watch some TV, probably put a movie on or something with the fam. Yeah, so yeah. I wanted to come through and show some love and hang out with y'all for a bit. So appreciate really? the invite, as always. Yeah, uh, and everybody in the by. chat. You guys have a good night, man. Be safe. Enjoy your weekend. And go watch that Shogun, bro. Go Dude. watch that with Wifey. I know Wifey gonna like it. Wifey loved the, the Game of Thrones and all that stuff. I know she's gonna love this if she hasn't it, already it, watched it. If it's animated, it's gonna be tough. Man. No, it's not animated. No, it's it's not real it. people. It's it's live people, bro. Like, oh. Well, that's why yeah. I have Dude, I go, go, go watch it, bro. Go I watch it. Alright, y'all be good, man. Good night. Later, Jeff. Bye. Peace. See, but um, Clear to Wolverine right now, Dave and Adams has those boxes at is that $304 for a box? Wow, $3,049 for a case. Um, with 12 boxes, let me do some quick math. $3,049, let's double check that math. That's $254 a box. 254 box. Um, I don't know. It, I'm, I'm going to open some of that product. I hope it's good. I hope to enjoy it. Um, but I'm really more looking forward to Avengers Metal, Marvel Metal Avengers, uh, more than I am Fleer Ultra Wolverine, especially since we just got Fleer Ultra Avengers and then immediately Fleer Ultra Midnight Suns and then now Fleer Ultra. I feel like Fleer Ultra should be a once a year product. Mm. You know, I'd like to yeah. see that. There have been too many mm -hmm. variations. Well, uh, Marvel Will says, I just pulled a huge hit in Marvel Platinum. Uh, tell us what it is, bud. Uh, he's just leaving us hanging by telling he us did. he pulled something big. <laughs> oh, wow. A Wolverine Creator Art uh, Orange Auto Rainbow. Wow. You should be hyped, dude. Yeah, that is banger. Yeah. Uh, Mel got the uh, Ty Rosma auto of Namor, Gray Namor, uh, out of 35. And then also opened a Multiverse of Madness and got a Rachel McAdams auto. Uh, I heard the people in Upper Deck said that this is the first product that uh, Rachel McAdams has done. Wow. That's fire. Under Roos. Under Roos. I, I do have, I have had somebody that called me Under Roos before. <laughs> it's not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. I can handle it. Uh, yeah, that's a huge congrats. 
Well, dude, man, this was fun. That was fun, yeah. So really now we got to figure out a time to open that 91. Let's, uh, let's play. Let's play. <laughs> we'll, we'll play a time. We'll get to it. Um, I, like I said, I think I'm going to open the, the Midnight, not Midnight Suns, the uh, Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange product during the eclipse. I think that'll be, that'll be a fun. good time uh, for that. So keep an eye on that for everybody. Uh, look, well, you're looking watching. directly at the... At the <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to like, as as it's happening, uh, get in the shot. But uh, everyone, thank you for watching. Do us a favor. Hit that like button for us. It uh, means a lot. Make sure you're following Jen Collects on Instagram, Lootbox TV on YouTube. Jen, it's always a pleasure for you to thank hear you for having your me. time with us. It means a lot. Uh, love each and every one of you. Uh, if you want to see more of this content, hit the subscribe button. But as always, I hope you have a marvelous day.